Hello folks, Lumix has just released um, the firmware update for the Lumix S5 Mark II and the 5.2x. And it's so exciting because finally we get this amazing firmware update that everyone we were looking for. Plus some surprises that we never actually thought that they will actually do. So let's go straight into it. I have here my phone where I'm just going to read the pinpoint and the purpose of this video is to just go through them um, really quickly and see them really quickly. I will have another video coming soon um, about how they actually work and properly improperly because I had a whole planned video but unfortunately it's snowing outside here in Finland so yeah that's it. Let's go straight into the video. So the first point that Lumix wrote on their website is frame IO. So CTC or C2C, however you want to read it, but is camera to cloud. I didn't manage to make my frame IO work yet. Um, I'm trying to make it work with Wi-Fi. So by connecting to the Wi-Fi on my phone to the hotspot, but I haven't managed. I know you can do the tethering or to um, VU, uh, SP or WPS or however you want to call it. Uh, but I want to make it work for Wi-Fi because if I'm outside there shooting, I want to connect it to the Wi-Fi on my phone, not to have my phone uh, wire attached to the camera because most probably I will be using that for charging or for the SSD. So. Um, I didn't manage to make it work, but I know that many people have made it uh, work, especially the people who got the firmware update before. So the the, the club, the Lumix club, um, or collaborators, YouTubers. So it's it's for sure it works. So it's probably my error there, but I haven't managed to make it work yet. But soon I'll do it and I'll do a video about it. So consider subscribing if you want to see that. The second point is proxies that I did manage. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I already like organized my folders to uh, basically um, reach all of this quickly. So I'm just going to show my organized folder. I will not show where they are because you know already where they are. And if you don't know, it's just in the camera department. Um, and is um, one of the two um, rolling films. <laughs> um, so they will find it in there, but here I'm going to show the proxies. Um, you have basically three modes for the proxies. So the high, the medium and the low. And you just choose whatever you want to do. I used the medium and then as you can see, there is a function to activate um, the LUT on the proxy. And that's amazing because that was one of the things that it was confusing that we couldn't really understand from the YouTubers that got the firmware update earlier uh, because many were saying one thing, the other ones were saying something. So you can only deliver basically the LUT to, um, to the proxies. Um, you can do it by attaching it to the, to the video too. So you can have the LUT through both uh, or only to the proxy. So you cannot have the LUT off on the proxies and on and on, on the uh, normal video, but you can only have it in, in the proxies and not in the normal video, which I think it's pretty intelligent. You don't really need um, flat prox proxies and then <laughs> a, a LUT baked in, in, in the normal video. I think that would be weird, but hey, Everyone chooses what they prefer, right? <laughs> and for me, it makes sense that they do that. And how you do it is that you have to go on your real-time LUT settings. So when you where you can all where you can select the picture profiles. So you go on the real-time LUT and you put the LUT that you you want to to deliver on the proxies, and then. Um, and then you can turn it off or turn it on, it doesn't matter. And then you just go back to the flat profile uh, or vlog or whatever profile you, you want to use. And basically this is how 
um, the lot can be baked in into, uh, into the proxies. If you have any other questions, just write me down below in the comments and I will explain it better if you didn't really understand. The next function is finally we get the autofocus, um, the autofocusing system from the G9 Mark II. So now we get the motorcycle and the cycle and uh, the car and so on. And what is amazing is that we get the animal where you get the eye and the body detection or eye and body detection. And then we get the human um, body or eye detection or so ever, but we got all the spices to have all the things that we want to have. We still didn't get the boxy for eye for the human ones, which I'll have loved, but that we get in animal. But soon in the next video, I'm going to test if the animal actually works with human because we are technically animals too. So yeah, have to try it out and see that. Hey, so as you can see in this video of my daughter running around, the autofocusing system works amazingly and it works well. In the next videos, I will show it even better. As I said today, I'm just gonna go briefly into all of them, do a quick show, and then later on, I will do a better video when it will stop snowing in Finland, where I can do properly test for these features. But the next feature is another feature that we weren't expecting at all, which they enchanted the stabilization. We used to have basically the EIS stabilization, which it was just on and off, so standard, which it will crop to about 1.1. One arm length, I'm using the standard E stabilize, and yeah, it crops, I think, in 1.1. I had a whole shooting plan for outside with my little nugget here and unfortunately we stepped out and it's raining and yeah but i'm shooting on the 16 to 35 ef adapted uh, 2.8 and yeah and now we have the high setting so now um i have switched now i have switched to the high one <laughs> I'm coming in, yeah? <laughs> I have switched to the high one and the high E, e stabilization. And it, you can see it has cropped in. I've changed hand because it, it's not that, that, that easy to crop with, with a hand. But yeah, how, how does it look? It cropped in. Um, I'm here that it actually crops in to basically becomes um, and uh, an APAC crop could be, I don't know, because I'm switching at 16, so um, it could be, but that means that from some tests that some people have done, it actually fixed this, their rolling shutter because it's actually cropping into APSC. So let's try it out and see if it's true. It's amazing because now this camera looks basically like the stabilization that uh, Micro Four Thirds camera have. And here, uh, probably that now that you're scrolling, I'm showing basically how good, how good, good, good this stabilization is. And it's crazy. And combined with the right lens, I think you can use it to really, really, do cool stuff and one of the things that they added which i never really had issue with but i know that many people have issue with and cameras like canon cameras and sony cameras still have issue with is the wobbling in the corners lumix has just released this rumor update and it corrects it perfectly i know that canon tried it out to correct it but they didn't manage but lumix managed to do that and it's called um, perspective distortion so that's amazing that Lumix has managed to correct that where other companies have failed so Lumix continue improving our lives 
I hope you will bring that box thing on the eye of humans too. For photographers, the pre-burst shooting mode, which is amazing because you can now uh, pre-record before you actually um, you actually shoot. You can basically click the button and shoot from one second to 1.5 seconds before the, um, the shot, basically. So you will never basically miss a little step that maybe a bird is getting or um, a, a bride movement or whatever you think um, you are going to lose in that fraction of time. Now you don't lose it anymore. So these firmware updates are amazing firmware updates that um, really change the use of this camera and really brings it even basically the same as the A7S III, the Sony A7S III, which it has the proxy recordings too. And now it, they just got the 24 um, standard recording and then the cinema 4K recording, which this camera already had. So that makes you understand the value that this camera has compared to cameras that cost two times to three even times more. So if you're watching this video, thank you. If you're a new subscriber, thank you very much for the support. If you are old subscriber, love you. Thank you very much for the support. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys keep coming back and comment down below with what you hope Lumix will release as the next firmware update or what other improvements that you wish we will get more for this camera. But thank you for sticking here with me and hearing me blabbering. Hope to see you in the next one. Take good care of yourself. See you. Yes, Eliana. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>